Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss this little thing. Okay. This is the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Um, I would say this is an extremely well-built drone um, and today we are going to have a full walkthrough of this drone we're going to see the specs we're going to see the settings and we're going to have a complete um, beginner's guide to this dji so let's get into this um, this drone the mini 3 pro is at 249 grams uh, it's a small drone with its size, but it has uh, good qualities in the camera. So I bought the uh, Fly More package. So in the package, I got this bag, and I also got the um, the wireless controller. Uh, I think this was a big must because of the bigger screen. Um, so I don't have to use my phone in case of calling the aircraft controller to, or something like that. Um, but if you don't have, um, if you don't need it, you can just uh, stick with the, um, the cell phone as well. You also got the uh, battery package. Uh, you got the two batteries in this one. It's important to have the fly more for me because you have more, uh, more uh, uh, possibilities with the air time. Um, I also got the ND filters uh, for the drone, but that's, I don't have it on me right here, so we can take that uh, later. So, let's check out the drone and the settings. Uh, you can just open the gimbal like this. So, the game changer about this drone, in my opinion, is that it has the vertical and horizontal, um, horizontal uh, camera. So this means that it's extremely good for uh, social media. You can just uh, add a button and the camera will uh, switch and you can have the, uh, the format that fits the, uh, the cell phone formats. So we can just go and strike this thing up. I'm not gonna fly this inside now. I'm just gonna start it up. And then we start this one. right there okay so now we're going to take a look at this uh, controller we have the sticks at the down center here uh, personally I think that's a beautiful location for it because they will not disappear that easy uh, I can just unscrew this into the place so here we see the, the interface um, of the, the drone. So uh, what I was thinking now is to go through each one of the settings in the drone so that we will get used to the interface of the um, DJI um, Mini 3 Pro. So first off, we see this uh, rotation sign right here. Sorry, uh, it was this corner. So if we tap that button, we will see that it is changing. How cool is that? Right there. So, um, first of all, we see the, um, the auto button right here. So if you press this auto button right here, we will see the um, that we get the pro and auto mode. So what I was thinking right here was to go through each one of the settings just to see um, how I do it when I get the most amount of cinematic footage in my um, in my drone. Um, with this DJI Mini 3 Pro, um, first of all, what I like to do is to have the, the ISO the lowest as it possibly can go. So right now I'm inside, there's not a lot of light. So um, if 
I'm, for example, outside, I will have it at 100 or 200 just to get the lowest amount of, um, of ISO uh, to not that, get that much uh, graininess on the footage. So after that, um, I will figure out which frame rate I will shoot in. Um, mostly I shoot uh, 4K. Um, but at some project I also have the, the 1080. Um, so that's good for YouTube and other things. So when shooting at 4K, uh, I'm not going to go into the debate which uh, frame uh, I'm going to shoot. That's another discussion. Um, but what I like to do is that, um, for example, I'm shooting at the um, 30 frames per second. Um, I can go to the normal or the cine-like uh, mode. So what I would like to do is to go to the de cine like mode. And the reason with that is that it's the most flatter profile. With the normal, you get the the uh, great colors just straight out of the camera, but with the de cine like you have a bit more of uh, tweaking in post, so you have more um, more um, opportunities. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go into the coding and formats. Um, so, um, I'm gonna go to the shutter speed. It's important for me to have the um, 180 degree shutter rule with double um, shutter speed of the frame rate. So in this case, not sure if you can see it, but in this video, I'm going to have the shutter at um, 60 and that's because I have um, 30 frames per second and uh, 60 in shutter so that will give me the right amount of motion blur for this. This was just a little introduction to the, um, the, the DJI Mini 3 Pro if you have any questions just uh, leave them down below um, Please make sure to subscribe if you like this and I will make more videos in the future.